Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays. Today we are playing a game called Pikmin 4. It is on the Nintendo Switch. I'm excited about playing this game. I haven't played a Pikmin game since, uh, what, the GameCube? The first Pikmin way back in the day with the first Pikmin. So I'm really excited about this game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want me to keep playing this game, let's get started. I am Captain Olimar. I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. And there he is. This is the story of how I crashed on an unknown planet and how I was ultimately rescued. <laughs> He's so cute. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. Oh no. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Until I encountered a strange species which I named Pikmin. The Pikmin had an innate desire, or will, to carry objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Time passed and I met another, yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed it over a treat. <laughs> After that, we quickly bonded. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my ship. A quest that was nearing its end. Until something bad happened. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. Whoa! The kitchen! What is this place? Oh, well, this is gonna be fun. We get to explore inside a house. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Hmm. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait, where are you running off to? <laughs> All the Pikmin are running away. Oh, they found some pots. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Arf, arf. That is a strange dog. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Look ahead with a ZL. Uh, yeah, okay. Move. And then R, look around. All right, no problem. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. They could be hiding in those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, we'll start charging up my pup's strength. Just need to press X and hold down to take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let it go and let her rush. Okay. Let's see. Let's rush and boom! boom. <laughs> There we go. I found some red Pikmin. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. Okay, come on, guys. Here they come. Oh, they're holding on to the dog. 
Oh, wolf. <laughs> I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I better make note of this in my voyage log. Okay, let's record in the log. You may never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it. He's such a, uh, he's such a, whatever. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. Okay. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. <sighs> okay, so X is the jump button. If I hold down X, I can rush ahead. Boom. Oh, ouch. B is my whistle. Oh, hey, there's more Pikmin over here. Come on, guys. They're coming. At least I have a few more Pikmin now. And then R to look around, L to move. No problemo. Let's rush into these pots and bust them open. Boom. Oh, I found some yellow Pikmin. Oh, and they already jumped on here. I knew I'd find you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I probably... Oh! <laughs> Don't look before you leave. <laughs> Just jump, huh? I hear something. Use R to take a peek. Uh, if I... Oh. Oh, okay. Well, there's a bunch of little Pikmin around here. I wonder what's behind this. Let's charge it and find out. Oof. <laughs> Knocked it over. Well, there's a bunch of... A blue Pikmin that were trapped inside. Oof. Oh, what are you doing over here, you? Come on. Oh, and there's a bunch of yellow ones that were up top, too. Oh, there's still some up there, even. Come on, you. Oh, there's a bunch of red ones over there. I seen them. Just move. I think it did. There's some Pikmin in the grass. I got them though. And there's some Pikmin underneath here. Yeah, come on, guys. What are you doing underneath there? So I can't fit underneath, but I can whistle and bring them to me. There we go. I should jump to climb up. Okay. Made it to the top. I'll look around with R. Okay. I can bring them to me. There we go. And here are some more. Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely on my pup's powerful nose. Track down some of those ship parts, girl. Arf, arf. Ah, so she did find some ship parts. We need to stay on that scent. Okay, let's rush this. Boom! boom. Using R helps keep track of the scent. What is that? A creature! I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? I don't know. Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use X to build up the energy so we can rush that creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle and wait for a chance to strike. Okay. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So the spikes have been loosed. I need to call the Pikmin with B now. Come on, guys. Oh, there we go. That was easy enough. Oh, no. His spirit left his body. <laughs> well, well, we did find this, the ship part. It's the Interstellar Radio. Relocated it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Help. 
I had recovered the interstellar radio. So I immediately send out an SOS signal. And, attra and attached the latest version of my voyage log. Captain's log. Days and weeks passed, but no one noticed. My signal reached out into the rescue corps. Ooh. Here they are. They took off towards this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. <laughs> the rescue corps are on their way to save me. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. Oh no, they're gonna crash too. The rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Oh no. <laughs> Double shipwrecks are rare and, ex and extremely unlikely. At this point, you might be thinking all hope was lost. But there was at least one rescue officer left at the Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You. That's right. You are my last hope. <laughs> Emergency mission. The rest rescue the rescue corps. <laughs> Following emergency protocol, all officers are directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corps is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Oh, I get to I get to change my character. That's kind of cool. Oh, I love this. <laughs> That's so me. <laughs> nope, that's the one. All right, got my name in there. I'm ready to deploy. Two can plays. Play. <laughs> The Rescue Corps' newest officer! They've recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their mission, mi missing colleagues. Uh, ready for duty, sir! Hmm. <laughs> Not only my fate, but the fate of the Rescue Corps! Rest in the hands of an ex of it, one inexperienced adventurer! That's me! <laughs> Here we go. Starting my first mission. Oh man, I love this guy. <laughs> I totally love this guy. Search for the missing rescue officers. <laughs> nope. And there's my little puppy. I got a new little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Otachi home planet is Gia okay this young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the shepherd family this is his first mission oh so cute I found the rescue pup you encountered the rescue corps mission I'm sorry you You've encountered the Rescue Corps' rescue pup, Otachi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Okay. Come on, Otachi. Let's go. <laughs> He's on the other side. You found someone in need of rescuing. We need to rescue him. I know, what are we gonna do? Begin rescue operations at once. Okay, I'll whistle. Well, come on. What are we gonna do? Oh, I can send him to the leaf. All right, you gonna pull on the leaf? What are you gonna do? You are, okay, good. Pull on that leaf. Take it all the way out. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, good boy. All the dirt has been removed. Nope, 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 come here. 
Come on, good boy. All right, here we go. Another rescue, or another... Oh, he's licking him through his uh, helmet. Not sure how that works, but okay. Is that you, Otachi? Oh, thank the stars! I was sure that my SOS signal had had reached... Oh. Thank the stars! I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Otachi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Natachi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications officer for the Rescue Corps. All right, Colin. As the Rescue Corps comms officer, the he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Found the comms officer, operator, <laughs> Colin. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps' comms operator. What's That's one down. Now where could the other rescue officers be? I don't know. My path got cut off by a small landslide when our hunger... And when our... Hmm. My path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You are our latest recruit, right? It's you can play, isn't it? <laughs> I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no. Oh yes, I've spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry on an extra. Tap up on the left side and open up your review. Right. Tap up on the left side there to open and review your missions. Okay. Uh, up. Two can play. That's me. I'm two can play. You can use this map anytime to confirm that tasks are top priority, or confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each. Okay, whatever. <laughs> rescue the Rescue Corps. Let's close that. <laughs> Mm, I'm too can play. Mm. <laughs> now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. Okay, got it. From now on, two can play talks like this. Mm. <laughs> let's go find the Shepherd. There she is, the SS Shepherd. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The plants on this planet are gigantic. Always make sure the area is safe with R. Okay. Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there. Then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. If only. Can I jump? It's impossible to get over the ledge. Use R to find another route. Aha! I have found another route. Perhaps I can send. There's something under that dirt. Yes, I can send the dog to dig it up. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Ha 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 ha. Good pup, Otachi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. Almost there. Good job, Otachi. Hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. 
You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh, this looks like... Huh? This just look... Hmm. Huh? This looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Otachi! I bet if we go down this hole, we'll go to the other one. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. I'm sure that they are. <laughs> it looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Here we go. Though it does look pretty dark down there. <laughs> We've got lights on our head, man. Come on. Let's go. Oi! <laughs> Wee! Burrow of Beginnings, sub level one. Whoa! Oof. <laughs> hey, what is it, Otachi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here? Perhaps. Let's find out. It looks like a dead end. It totally does. Let's try somewhere else. I bet up this way. Let's see. Oh, there's some snails. Oh, no. Or slugs. Oh, my. What a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Toucan Play. The captain comes from a long line of... Uh, this is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. Oh, no. She's surrounded by creatures. All right. Let's see if we can send the pup to attack these slugs. Oh, yeah. Pup's making quick work of the slugs. Good job, pup. Thanks, Otachi. <laughs> Phew, we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. You can get, can you get down? <laughs> I hope so. My, <laughs> let's see, she's a girl. So let's, let's get a girl voice, right? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. I can do this. <laughs> That's not a very good girl voice, is it? <laughs> I need to get to know her personality a little bit better here. What's your status, Cullen? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Otachi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Toucan Plays? Huh. Otachi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. I bet you did. All right, Rescue Corps Captain Shepard, a 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Aww. Found Captain Shepard. We found Captain Shepard with the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came upon those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on. Did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Hmm. Yes. Is something wrong? Didn't you say any you didn't say anything, you can't play? <laughs> Copy that is Rescue Corp's way of saying understood. Let's try it by saying it together, okay? <laughs> Copy that! <laughs> Copy that! <laughs> Excellent! 
Very good, excellent reply. <laughs> that said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. Oh my. This is so silly. <laughs> Two can play. Rescue Journal complete. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share will guide you well. All right. Can I close this? You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Otachi and you have both bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. Since I'll be observing both of you to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Okay. Can I... Quite the conundrum. What would you do, Toucan Plays? Well, I would send the pup after the... Oh. <laughs> oh, poor puppy. I'd send the pup after it, but it didn't work. Even Otachi can't chew his way through this one. Okay. So we're gonna have to rush it. Let's see. Come on, pup. Rush in! There he goes. That was quite a rush. <laughs> Wasn't it, though? <laughs> Come on back, pup. This is fun. I remember this area. There! That's where I fell in! My word, to think you survived a fall from that height? But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up here? Hey, there's something under that light! Oops. Please proceed with caution. Let's see, let's see what this is. Oh, it's an air vent. <laughs> Excuse me, Toucan Play. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. <laughs> I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. <laughs> All right, Captain, the Rescue Corps flag has officially been planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Toucan Plays and Otachi. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. <clears throat> Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I, I don't think so. I've been very busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course. And good for you. You did it. Well, there she is. The SS Shepherd. <clears throat> oh, two can play, says. Two can play. <laughs> Okay, let's go check out the ship. Here we go. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepard? Oh my gosh. I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. <laughs> Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no! Will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything is stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar? Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Two can play. <laughs> I found treasure. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. 
I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts for the SS Dolphin. So there's some sparklium here, apparently. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from the sparkling objects we found on this planet to convert it into energy. If we... <clears throat> If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, these those objects are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but after but at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Mission secure energy source. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. The SS Beagle. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? <clears throat> it's so shiny! <laughs> Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. There's the SS Beagle. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. <laughs> All right, so the SS Beagle is here. See anything sparkly around here? Let's go find something sparkly. Try looking around the area with R. I, I, I know how R works. Aha! <laughs> is that what I think it is? <laughs> It has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. <laughs> Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie. Press the D-pad to open up the radar map. Okay. Um, I'm trying. It's not working. Um, D-pad. Press D-pad. Why is the D-pad not working? Nope. Oh! <laughs> it wasn't the D-pad, it was the plus sign. <laughs> Presence of Sparklium confirmed! That star in the center represents the treasure. Okay, good. All right. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check and see if there's any treasure in your area. Okay. Okay. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start to, as a good sign. But, um, how are we going to move it? That's a good question. Uh, can we send the pup? Oh, we can rush him. Let's rush into it. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> it's a Game Boy Advance SP. <laughs> That was close. Too close. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. But now, how are we gonna... But how are we gonna transport this? Well, go get it, pups. Can, can you... Oh, we need... It won't budge. We need 10 people to move it. Okay. Uh, can we move it? No. It seems Itachi can't carry it alone. Call Itachi and go look for other treasure. Okay. <gasps> What's this? Are these Pikmin? I think it's going to be Pikmin. What's this? Is it a treasure? <laughs> well, go investigate, Itachi. Yeah, dig it up. There you go. Excavation complete. Where are you taking it? Good job, Itachi. Carry it just like that. So Itachi counts as three Pikmin, basically. And he's going to take it all the way to the Beagle, apparently. Oh! 
It's just gonna roll around. Oh. Yeah, okay, some Pikmin are coming out. Huh? It moved! I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks like some kind of a plant. Could this be that thing that Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? Well, that is a Pikmin. Let's send the pup. Go see. No, that didn't work. Ah, I can pluck it. There we go. Ah. Oh, red Pikmin. Yay! Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they are friendly and very helpful creatures. Well then, maybe we should, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Why is she scared of him? <laughs> look at that, Otachi's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well, Toucan Plays. And um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? <laughs> Oh my. Okay. You can select Pikmin with L and R. Okay. Press A to throw them, I believe. Okay. Yay. Yeah, kill that flower. Nice. And then, yeah. Okay, cool. So we got, we got a little bud from the flower. And that should make me another Pikmin, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe two more Pikmin. Cool. And then I can uh, pull them out. What? More sprouts? <laughs> that red seed-like thing apparently is called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> this must be how we get more Pikmin. Yes. Yes, indeed it is. Here, come on. Let's send a Pikmin to go get another. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, good. Now I need three to get this shiny. It's got sparklium in it. What is this, a fork? I don't know what this object is, but they're digging it up. Oh, oh, they're working hard, man. They're working hard at digging that up. It has to be transported to the beagle. Well, come on, help. Maybe the Otachi can help. There we go. Excavation complete. That's a weird fork. It's a two-pronged fork. Excellent. It's on the move. Nice. That's perfect. Let's get some more. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Nice. <gasps> did we get some sparkliam? We did! We got 50 sparkliam! Yes! Energy detected! Nice. If we can collect 250 more units of sparkliam, maybe we we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. Cool! But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on sparkliam alone. Though this though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're gonna need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. Indeed. New treasure collected! A little fork. Let's get some more of these Pikmin. Hey, come on, guys. What you doing? Don't sit around. Okay, so how many? We've got, a, we've got a lot of Pikmin now, but I think we need some more. Let's come over. I can throw them, right? I should be able to throw... Throw them. Mm, come on, come on. Mm. I want to be able to throw them up onto that thing. Look ahead with ZL. No, that didn't work. Ah, okay. There we go. Now I can throw them. Oh, no, no. Aha. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect, 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 guys. Come on. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is great. Yeah, you take that back. And then you guys. Ah. 
Very nice. Okay, so only one Pikmin needs to take that one back. Perfect. Yeah, I'm starting to figure this out. Nice. Okay, so the pellet comes back. We get more Pikmin from the pellet. Nice. Whoa, that's a lot of Pikmin. It is, isn't it? Captain still isn't quite sure about these Pikmin. All right, how many we've got? We've got eight Pikmin and then we've got Otachi. I think that should be enough to be able to bring the Game Boy back. Oh, but look, here's some more right here. Nice. Ah. Come on, guys. Are there any more sprouts? There's no more sprouts. Yes, okay, so now I've got I've got 11 Pikmin. Let's get the Game Boy moving. <laughs> okay, so I can only put a maximum of 10. Nice, and they are hefting the Game Boy over to the Beagle. That's awesome, I love this. A Game Boy Advance. Hee-haw, hee-haw. <laughs> Let's get, let's get another pellet too while we're at it. Whoop. New treasure collected. I got a Game Boy Advance. How much? Oh, that gave me 200. Oh, it gave me 150. Sparklium. We need to keep this up. We need to get more Sparklium here. There's a limit to how many Pikmin I can get. All right, let's see. Where else can I get some some sparkly objects? Oh, here we go. And yes, perfect. This looks extra shiny. I'll throw my five Pikmin up there and they got it. We're almost at 300 units. What is that? Like a, a bell, like a bicycle bell? We've got this. Well, the Pikmin have it. Yeah, it's totally a bicycle bell. How cool. Ring, ring. I'm not taking the most direct path, but they're getting there. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> you two make a fantastic combination to can plays and Otachi. Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it that time. Of course, this isn't quite the right occasion for a copy that, but good effort to get plays. I'm trying, Colin. Give me a break. <laughs> the Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. They do, don't they? They're quite obedient. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. <laughs> I love this game. This game is so awesome. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. There's my Game Boy. Shake off all that sparklium. And there's my bicycle bell. And there's my two pronged fork. Nice. Oh. Nice. Okay, so my spaceship is working again. The SS Shepard is running. We restarted the SS Shepard using the sparklium we extracted from the treasure. We did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin! Boot it up and let's see if we can pick up any signals. Okay. Boom, boom. Huh? I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Let's get to rescuing. Day one, we rescued Colin and Captain Shepard. 
Sparklium discovered a noble bident. It's a bident? Instead of a trident, it's a bident. Stone of advancement. <laughs> Boy, is a stone of advancement. Path creator. Because <laughs> when, you're, when you're riding the bike, you ring ring and you, you make a path. Ah, that's funny. That's interesting. This ship is automatically naming these objects. The ship is doing it, is it? <laughs> we encounter unknown objects and elements in our missions all the time. So the name, so I had a naming AI installed in our new ships. Cool. Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Quite so. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. <laughs> it probably would have been. <laughs> Stone of advancement. I, that's great. I was worried when I saw the smoke blowing out of the SS Shepard, but I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I've been roughing it for long enough, and there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough energy rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll face... Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Otachi need to eat and get lots of rest, you can't place. But don't forget to review our missions before heading to bed. Okay. Rescue mission day two. Okay, I think that is a good place to stop for today. I Thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate that. We're going to pick up on day two tomorrow on the next episode uh but re i really do appreciate you guys stopping by and watching this video be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and hey we'll see you guys on the flip side later